Hi, welcome to Grow New Plants. So today I'm going to do some cuttings off of some Vitex trees. They're also known as Chase trees. Really cool trees. I love them. Uh, I'm going to show you a clip real quick of the mother trees and then I'll show a little zoom in of where I took the cuttings from. They're, most of them are actually suckers off the trunk of the tree. So I'll show you that real quick. Okay, so I've got uh, I got a root maker tray here with it's a 32 cell tray. So I'm going to take 32 cuttings off of these. I cut these cuttings long, and I'll just come in and we'll figure out where to take the cuttings off of. So I'm going to get zoomed in, and we'll start prepping all of our cuttings and getting ready to stick them. So I got a lot of cuttings here. So what I'm going to do is a lot of these cuttings they have. Uh, buds on them where they're getting ready to flower right here but i'm going to trim those off so that's not a big deal so what i want to do is i got a node right here at the bottom of this cutting and then i got leaves here i'm going to pull off and then i got another node here that's a that's probably a short cutting right there i'm going to see i'm going to start from the start from the bottom here so this is a thicker cutting here. Some are thick, some are thin. We'll just see what happens with them. So make a cut there. So there's a node, there's a node. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do because these are pretty far out. So we're gonna go a node underground, one node that the leaves are pulled off on, and then one node above. And I'm gonna cut some of these leaves back. They don't need to be that big. So we got two nodes above ground and some of them are gonna be different sizes. So. So here, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna take a node there. We'll go above this node, pull the leaves off on the bottom node, pull the leaves off on the middle node, and then just trim some of these leaves back. You just need a couple leaves, and they don't even have to be whole leaves. So that'll be another good cutting there. So let's see, we got uh, another one here. So we're gonna cut off this seed head. This one's gonna be a little bit kinda high up on the plant so it's going to be a little softer this is all this year's growth some of them have hardened off a little bit more than others so that'll be another one there that'll be good and then that's the bottom half of that one so we'll go right above that one take these two leaves off take these two leaves off and then cut right below that node so that'll be another one so i'll go ahead and i'll fast forward uh through cutting the rest of these i got 32 that I need to cut, so I'll probably cut a few extra. That way, if some of them I don't like the way they look, I can bypass them. But that's basically all there is to it. We're gonna go two nodes above, one node in the ground with each cutting. So I'll get all these cut up and then we'll get ready to stick them. Okay, so I got well over 32 of them stuck now, or cut. So I'm gonna take my Clonex uh, root home run, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and dip all of these. And that way you let them sit and dry for just a minute before I start sticking them. Cause I'm not gonna use a dibble on these. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them straight in the soil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get them all on there and let it kind of soak in for a minute before stick them down in the dirt just to give them a chance for the rooting hormone to soak in some. I didn't recut them again, obviously, because they're, they're very fresh cut, so there's no point in cutting them twice. So I'm putting these into my root maker 32 cell trays, and I'm using my regular propagation mix. 
and uh, I'll put a link up there at the top uh, to the video on how I make that propagation mix. I did a video that I get asked that a lot on how I make that mix so I just went ahead and made a video for it and I also have one for my transplant mix too so if you want to go check that one out if you want to subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it and then leave me comments if you got anything else that you want me to see that you want to see me make or grow within reason <laughs> if it's something that I can get or it's possible for me to grow I'll try and grow it I'm always looking for new stuff I just love experimenting I love Love making new plants. There's nothing cooler than doing something like this and then a couple weeks or three weeks, depending on what the plant is, coming back and tugging on it out of there and it's resistant because it's got roots starting and then turns into a whole other big plant. It's really cool. So I got all these things with the rooting hormone on them now, or almost do. So now we're just going to stick them. And I did something a little bit different too. Usually I do not... Uh, put my I don't water my soil in before but what a, the problem I'm running into a little bit is that I water I put my sticking I stick them in here and then I water them in and the soil sinks down so low that sometimes they don't have good contact with these anymore so they'll be wobbly so I'm just kind of trying something new I just went ahead and pre-watered my soil in where it's a little more compact to start with that looks like one right there I never did end up getting rooting hormone on out of all of those that I did, the one I picked up had no rooting hormone on it. So this one does. So I'm just going to start back here. And I'm just sticking them about halfway down in these cells. I think I've done these before and I did them in bigger cells. Uh, I, got, I got a friend, he's a beekeeper. And he loves these Vitex trees. So I'm kind of growing these mainly for him because he wanted more of them. So it's kind of the reason that I'm, I decided to grow more of these things. He plants them out on his property and the bees love them. I mean, the big old huge purple flowers. And when I do the follow-up video on this, I'll have the pictures of the tree that I have were not uh, bloomed out yet. They have blooms on them, but they haven't actually flowered yet. So when I do the update on these after they root, I come back and show you what they look like rooted. Then I should have uh, a little video of what these trees look like with the flowers on them too. They should be flowered out by then. They're, they're close. I'm sure they'll start opening within a couple weeks. They'll be opening up before these things root. So anyway, I'll fast forward through the rest of this. Okay, so I've got them all stuck now. So I told you I'd already pre-watered these. So I'm gonna go ahead and water them just a little bit more. And I'll put them in these trays right here. This is my propagation method. So I set them in these deep trays right here. And what that does is that will allow these things to hold a little bit of water down in the bottom. So as they start getting dry, there's a little bit of water in that tray and they'll absorb water and keep the soil moist but it's still deep enough that it, it has enough room for it to drain so the roots or so the stems don't rot on there. And then I have my domes here. So we'll go ahead and we'll water this thing in just a little bit. And these things are starting to get a little bit wilty. They're pretty delicate, the leaves are, when they have no water. So we'll get a little bit of water on them and then we'll put them to dome on them and then I'll put them underneath my grow bench. I'll double check these, make sure they're all standing up straight. I'm going to pour just a little bit of water down in that tray. And I check them pretty close the first couple days just to make sure they're not getting wilty or anything. Uh, but the majority of the time, everything I put in these things, they do just great. These things, the leaves will be parked back up on them just like they're growing again. So I'll take this, put my little tray over here. And to start with, I just barely crack the holes maybe about halfway and then the side ones I'll do the same I'll just give them a small crack that way you get a little bit of airflow through here which is good for them and the closer they get to rooting I've got some English ivy cuttings that I did a while back and they're probably probably 80 just tugging on them about 80 percent of them are rooted pretty solid so in about another week I'm going to start opening the dome on that I'll just take the dome and I'll lift it up maybe put some sticks under it or something 
to let those start getting airflow to kind of harden them off, getting them used to being away from the humidity. And then eventually I'll just pull the dome away from them and then I'll just leave them sitting out but still in the shade for a little while. And then once the roots get pretty much solid where they fill up the containers and I can just sit them out in the, on the regular grow table and they'll be fine. So anyway, I sure appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please share my videos. Thank you.